Strategy message, USS Canali to USS Cheyenne. We are under attack by Borg forces. Repeat, Borg forces. We intercept the two Borg vessels heading on a direct course for Sector 001. Subspace something is too weak. Let's go to Starfleet Command. If you can read us, do not repeat. Do not send help. We last warn Starfleet. The Borg have returned. Repeat, the Borg have returned. O seven thirty means O seven thirty, cadet. Sit down. First, the captain wanted me to convey his regrets for not being here himself. As I'm sure you've heard, Starfleet is amassing an armada in Sector 001 to defend against the latest Borg incursion. We, or rather, our ship, is on her way to join them. Starfleet has successfully defeated the Borg twice before, and we have every expectation of successfully stopping them now. However, given the probability of armed conflict, the captain has ordered that all non-essential personnel, including visiting Starfleet cadets, be transferred off the ship to a safer venue at the medical research facility on Marnus Three. Please have your gear packed and be at Shuttle Bay Three in 30 minutes. Dismissed. Cadet Furlong. A moment, please. The captain has denied your request to stay on board, Cadet. I'm sorry. The massacre 10 years ago at Wolf 359 was a great tragedy for the Federation. I was only one year out of the academy when it happened. A lot of my classmates died there. Now, each year I get older and they stay the same. I understand your need for justice. I'm sorry. Shuttle Bay 3 in 30 minutes. Your father was killed nine, ten years old, and you're still not over it? Perhaps I should introduce myself. I imagine you've heard of me, though, Q. It's short for Q. It was I, you know, who introduced Picard to the Borg, and it's because of me that ten years ago the Borg came to Wolf 359 and found that fleet of ships and found your father and killed them all. At 0800 hours during the Battle of Wolf 359, the USS Righteous such a noble name, Righteous, was hit by an unknown Borg weapons discharge and vaporized. Vaporized. No trace. Nothing to bury, nothing to mourn. The Borg took it all away from you in an instant. I understand your desire for justice. They don't, though, do they? But I do. You want action. You want to avenge your father's death. You want to kill Borg. What sentient. Yet still barbaric, bipedal hominid wouldn't. You can run away with the others like a scared trog, or you can come with me, cadet. The choice is yours. Maybe you didn't hear me. I'm offering you a chance to go and kill some Borg. Do you want to or not? It looks like I misjudged you. You're only interested in saving your own skin. And to think I went to so much trouble to arrange it all. Come on, cadet, you're... Q, intruder alert, deck six. Don't even bother. (laughs) 
Excellent choice, monsieur. Keep the phaser, you're going to need it. And take this too. Be careful now, don't lose it. I only made one. Time! Oh, 0758, sir. Keep those phases firing, and where are my photon torpedoes? Armed and ready, Captain. Have a look. I can't see you. Let's see if we can shake them up a little, Ensign. Initiating Delta attack, sir. I'm reading the small weakness in the shields. Shields are holding fine, but power is down 10%. Weapons having no effect. Damn, they've adjusted their shields already. Why is it always the difficult species that are the most adaptable? The Borg adapt their environment to suit their needs. True adaptability involves changing oneself to suit their environment. I'm so glad you cleared that up. Recognize this place? You should, to keep a picture of it on your wall. The bridge of the USS Righteous. Your father's ship. The Tolstoy just took a major hit. This is him, isn't it? Well, I can see the family resemblance. I think she's pulling away. The Kyushu's coming on strong. Melbourne and Saratoga have lost power. Tolstoy, Kyushu, Saratoga, Melbourne. Recognize the names? Do you know where you are, cadet? Captain! Intruder alert. Security, isolate the ops console now. Uh, that's right, 10 years ago, Wolf 359. Security! Look at him. He's barely older than you are. He shouldn't be at security. But four hours ago, the real security officer, Lieutenant Sprint, was killed. And this first year, Ensign had to take his place. And because of his inexperience, everybody on board, including your father, will be killed. The phases are useless. Just isolate the panel now. If Lieutenant Sprint were still alive, he might be able to save the ship. But he's been dead for four hours. No wonder they don't want him on the bridge. Come on, can't you move faster? <laughs> Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Thaddeus Quint. He actually tried to save Sprint's life, but as you can see, he failed the old goat. <laughs> Well, what'd you expect? He's a doctor, not a security officer. Still, if he had only had a little more creativity. But he didn't. He's bypassed the security lockout. <laughs> Doctor, he's dead. Shield mutation is shifting on its own. Shields are dropping. Uh-oh. I need shields back up now. Death in battle. If it were a Klingon, he'd be ecstatic. Ooh, I like this guy. Captain, there's a tight beam transmission going directly to the board queue. Computer is uploading data about emergency transporters. Anyone near Jeffrey 6, we need manual power rerouted through the secondary couplings. It's too late. The board cube is firing. Invasive maneuvers. So, now that you've seen your father die, are you ready to avenge his death? Or would you like to try something different? How about a chance to prevent his death? Lieutenant Sprint was killed four hours before the Righteous even got to Wolf 359. But if the good Dr. Quint had been able to save Sprint four hours before, then Sprint would have been able to save the righteous, and you would have grown up in the loving company of your father, and all for the want of a horseshoe nail. What say we give the old goat a second chance to save Sprint's life? You're not afraid of a little space-time continuum meddling, are you, cadet? No, I thought not. Shall we? This is Lieutenant Sprint. Do you think he knows he's gonna die? I don't think so. Don't bother saying hello. Just makes saying goodbye that much harder. Time, Mr. Furlong. Oh, 400 hours, sir. Is the cube within sensor range yet? Coming up now, Captain. Match speed, stay with it. Setting a pursuit course. Shields up. Intruder alert. Sprint, look out! Shall we dance? Sprint, make a choice. Oh, now that was clever. I turned you into Lieutenant Sprint, so I could be Quint and save you. Him, you, what, whatever. So that you could save the righteous. And then you go and you get yourself killed anyway. I mean, really, it's not worth meddling with the timeline if you're just going to make things worse. 
I hope you're not one of those passive contemplative types. Try again. Excuse me, am I mistaken? But isn't there a Borg on the bridge trying to control the ship? What are you gonna do? Scan ah. it to death? <laughs> Quint wasn't clever enough to think of it. Good thing I am. The board cube is pulling ahead. It's ignoring us completely. Not speed. Keep us within close range. Remember, a sprint should have died right here. Everything you do in his place from this moment on changes history. Invigorating, isn't it? Meddling with fate. Lieutenant, are you all right? Sprint? <laughs> He's an ox. Nothing scares him. And nothing hurts him. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? <laughs> there are all kinds of pain, Lieutenant. Don't let the fact that you are Bajani prevent you from acknowledging the hurt. Oh, please. Captain. Coded message coming in from Admiral Hansen. He's ordering us to proceed with all speed to rendezvous with the rest of the fleet at Wolf 359, requesting us not to engage the Borg. Until then, maintain radio silence until contacted. Helm laying a course for Wolf 359. Pull ahead of the Borg cube and then match speed. Aye, sir. ETA at current speed, four hours, five minutes. Good. We don't want them to get there before we do. And Targus, get that thing off my bridge. Yes, sir. Shooter! Shooter! Sprint! He's in control of tactical! The phases are useless. Captain, we're hailing the Borg ship. Shields are dropping. Uh-oh. There's a tight beam transmission going directly to the Borg cube. Computers uploading data about emergency transport. The Borg are firing! We're gonna die! And it's your fault. Well, I hope we're learning something from our little mistakes. He's got control of tactical. Faces are useless. Captain, we're hailing the board ship. Shields are dropping. Uh oh. There's a tight beam transmission going directly to the board cube. Computers uploading data about emergency transport. The board are firing. We're gonna die. It's your fault. Well, I hope we're learning something from our little mistakes. <laughs> if I told you to jump into a Signian vortex, would you do it? You're a sentient being of sorts. Try using this. You know, all this space-time manipulation does take some effort on my part. It's not that easy. I'd appreciate it if you'd make a little effort, too. Captain, he's hailing the Borg cube. Shields are falling. Borg cube is firing. Well, I hope we're learning something from our little mistakes. Definitely dead this time. Then get him definitely off my bridge this time. Mr. Sprint, reconfigure your security console so you can control Tactical B. Then meet me down at the computer core. I want to secure this ship in case the Borg try and board us again. Good shooting. <sighs> How about... Quick thinking, Quint. Good work, Quint. Nobody ever gives me any credit for anything I do. That's because we don't like you, Quint. I think we can all save our hostility for the Borg, where it will be better placed, don't you? Let me ask you something, Baraka. Do you just spout these platitudes, or are you deluded enough to actually believe in them? Come on, Quint. No matter how hard you try, you're not going to change my mind. I still like you. <laughs> he kissed me. What 
are you staring at? Oh, of course, your father. This must be strange for you, knowing he may be about to die, knowing this may be your only chance to talk to him, tell him all about yourself, about the years since he died. I wouldn't if I were you. When he looks at you, all he sees is Lieutenant Sprint. I don't think he'd understand. Hey, Sprint. What, are you having one of your Bajani trances? See? Lieutenant Sprint, the console, please. Hey, if you're just gonna stand there and do nothing, why not try learning something? You'd better hurry. The captain doesn't like to be kept waiting. Sprint, I'm the one whose brain cells have been rewired, not you. Where's your mind? It's a good thing you only touched the delimiter. What happened? I don't know. I think he grabbed the power nodule. What? How is he, Doc? I'm sorry. He's just too stupid to live. What do you think this is supposed to be? Jewelry? It's a special gift from me to you. There's no other tricorder like it in the known universe. Use it! Grab the power nodule. What? How is he, Doc? I'm sorry. <sighs> You're just too stupid to live. I don't think you were paying attention. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first thing they teach you in systems tech? Make sure it ain't plugged in. I'd say that must have hurt, but I know you don't feel pain the way humans do. Just be careful. You got a one in three chance now. Care to try your luck? Or do you want to double check? Vanderpoke the Sprint. I'm waiting for you down in the core room, Lieutenant. Now! It's just his way. You'll get used to it. Yeah, but it's still hurry if I were you. The captain definitely does not like to be kept waiting. You do know how to get to the core room, don't you, Sprint? Destination code. Thank you, my good man. Sprint, we're waiting. I believe you're wanted in the computer core control room. Oh, mercy. 
mercy. <laughs> Why? Because I can. <laughs> to make better use of this equipment. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting the difficulties of dealing with your limited humanoid mind. If it's not right in front of you, you don't notice it. I've given you a tool to see beyond the superficial veneer of reality to a deeper level of knowledge and understanding. And you ignore it. I should be hurt. But then again, I'm not the one who keeps getting killed. Buddy, I guess I beat you down here. Mr. Sprint, I am a very tolerant captain, except when it comes to punctuality. I suggest you become more familiar with this ship's layout so you don't keep us waiting again. Do I make myself clear? We were trying to route all of the ship's controls through the security systems as an extra precaution, but something kept rejecting all of our attempts to access the security programs. And that's when we found this. It's obviously Borg, but how did it get on the ship, and what is its purpose? It seems to be tied in directly to the security systems, locking us out. Question is, how do we remove it? Sprint, you're the security officer. What do you think? Mr. Sprint is right. Until we know more about Borg technology, I don't think we should make any attempts to interfere with the implant directly. Captain, we were within transporter range for only 6.7 seconds. Mm -hmm. I don't see how the Borg transported to the bridge and implanted the circuit unless... Unless there were two of them. If there is another Borg on this ship, he's found a way to screen against our usual senses. I'll get Targus to scan against anomalies. See what you can do to help. Targus, enough. You've got the scan so sensitive, they're going to alert us if a particle of dust falls. If that particle of dust falls off a of Borg, then I want to know about it. You're too cautious. You're too lax. Sprint, tell him. <laughs> you know, if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have had any fun at the Academy. <laughs> if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have graduated from the Academy. <laughs> what? Oh. Lieutenant Furlong, Lieutenant Sprint, and Ensign Targus. Somehow, that's not quite how I pictured it. That's not your fault. Every time I see that thing, it reminds me of how much courage it must have taken for you just to be here. And of how much we both owe Sprint. Just 
Don't let Sprint here. His head's big enough already. What exactly do you owe him? You'll spend the rest of your life a slave to technology. I'm not a slave to it. In six months, a year at the most, I won't even need this. In three hours, four at the most, we won't even be alive. Unless we're Borg. <sighs> Dr. Quinn is testing the boundaries of the humanoid ability to maintain affection for him, which he thinks he's not worthy of. So what he does is he tries to make everyone dislike him. Well, he's very good at that. He's right about one thing. We could end up as Borg. And I know the last thing I want to have happen to me is to be assimilated into the Collective. We won't let it happen to any of us better dead than Borg. Agreed? Even Quint. Not even Quint deserves to be Borgified. But the Borg definitely deserve Quint. We got him. Somewhere in Jeffrey's Tube 6. Sprint, furlong. Take a couple of fully charged phasers, flush out the Borg, and neutralize them. Understood? Yes, sir. Security systems. I can't, Captain. Five seconds. I'm locked out. Four, three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Meddling with things you don't understand again? You know, I think I'm learning something here. Hubris. That's what I don't like about you people. Your ignorance of the working of the galaxy is unparalleled, and yet you continue to blunder ahead as if you knew what were going on. The Borg, on the other hand, really seem to know what they're about. If only they had more personality. In fact, if they had any personality, I might consider spending more time with them. But for now, don't touch what you don't understand. definitely tied into the security system. It's analyzing code. It seems to be going through some sort of encryption sequence, like it's trying to rewrite. It's trying to crack the self-destruct key code. Self-destruct program initiated. What the hell? Computer abort self-destruct. Self-destruct in 10 seconds. Bridge, override all security systems. I can't, Captain. Five seconds. I'm locked Four. out. Three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Meddling with things you don't understand again? You know, I think I'm learning something here. Hubris. That's what I don't like about you people. Your ignorance of the working of the galaxy is unparalleled, and yet you continue to blunder ahead as if you knew what were going on. The Borg, on the other hand, really seem to know what they're about. If only they had more personality. In fact, if they had any personality, I might consider spending more time with them. But for now, don't touch what you don't understand. Oh, Sprint. You're dead. Half a billion gigawatts will do that to you. Mm-hmm. Meddling with things you don't understand again? You know, I think I'm learning something here. Hubris. That's what I don't like about you people. Your ignorance of the working of the galaxy is unparalleled, and yet you continue to blunder ahead as if you knew what were going on. The Borg, on the other hand, really seem to know what they're about. If only they had more personality. In fact, if they had any personality, I might consider spending more time with them. But for now, don't touch what you don't understand. Nah, that won't do much of anything. Question is, how do we remove it? Sprint, you're the security officer. What do you think?
Your reading's not clear. He's been through here. Magnetic resonance traces. Okay, one of us has to go, but somebody should stay in case he went through and doubled back. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said one of us, I didn't say you. You know, you may be head of security, but I do outrank you. Yeah, it's only by three weeks, but I think that would stand up in case of a court martial. I'll tell you what. Well, if you're not going to play, sprint behind you! Ah! Surprise! Not clear. He's been through here. Magnetic resonance traces. Okay, one of us has to go, but somebody should stay in case he went through and doubled back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said one of us. I didn't say you. You know, you may be head of security, but I do outrank you. Yeah, it's only by three weeks, but I think that would stand up in case of a court martial. I'll tell you what. Are you gonna play? Sprint behind you! <laughs> Surprise! Didn't you hear what I told you? He cheats. You can't win. Didn't you hear what I told you? He cheats. You can't win. I win. Watch your back. I win. Watch your back. Bad idea. You see, there is another board, and he's waiting in the card of whoever comes out first. Poor old dad. I hope you don't feel guilty. Remember what you said, better dead than Borg.
even try, but you see the Borg are clever in their own monolithic way. They adjust two hits from any phaser, and they all know how to shield themselves against that frequency. You have to adjust along with them. You did say you wanted to kill Borg, didn't you? I like the irony of it, but aren't you forgetting someone or something? Rise and shine. Rise and shine. If it looks like a Borg, walks like a Borg, and sees like a Borg, then it must be a Borg. You're wondering what you're feeling? That's pain. No Borg is an island unto himself. Every Borg is part of the whole. Think what to do. Welcome to the collective cadet. Four doesn't mean burn a four. Absorb, destroy, obey. Time to go assimilating. Oh, Sprint, what have they done? They've adapted to the frequency settings of our phasers. just called your fellow Borg up to the bridge and had him assassinate all your friends. Don't feel bad, though. If it ever goes to trial, you can always claim the Collective made you do it. This time, try not to get caught. Oh, and by the way, your father cheats. I don't think so. You just called your fellow Borg up to the bridge and had him assassinate all your friends. Don't feel bad, though. If it ever goes to trial, you can always claim the Collective made you do it. This time, try not to get caught. Oh, and by the way, the game is rigged. Is it dead? I'm getting intermittent energy readings, but they're marginal. Maybe we should try removing some of the circuitry just to be sure. I say leave sleeping Borgs lie. His eyes just open. Could be some kind of autonomic response. They're firing! Target's more power to the shields. We get somebody up here to take over security. Shield strength is down 40%. 50. They're draining shield power. Nice going, Cadet. Your indecision caused the Collective to attack the ship. I'm starting to wonder about you. Maybe you're just not up to saving the universe. Shields can't hold. The next hit could do it. Evasive maneuvers. On the other hand, that's a great thing about being omnipotent. I can always give you another chance, as long as you don't bore me. Shields are gone. They're firing. Oh, and by the way, the game is rigged. How does that human poem of yours go? For each man kills the thing he loves. Some do it with a phaser blast, some do it with a... <laughs> Things just aren't gonna work out for you if you keep letting yourself get... 
Borgified. Oh, and your father? He cheats. You just called your fellow Borg up to the bridge and had him assassinate all your friends. Don't feel bad, though. If it ever goes to trial, you can always claim the Collective made you do it. This time, try not to get caught. Oh, and by the way, your father cheats. Captain, there's a tight beam transmission to the Borg cube originating from the bridge. It's Sprint. Kill that Borg. Sorry. Better dead than bored. Oh, and your father? He cheats. What do you say, cadet? Once more into the breach? serious. Did you think the Borg was going to wait around while you had your nose buried in your tricorder? I'm mildly impressed that you finally figured out how to use it, but really try to find a more appropriate moment next time. to our phaser settings. Is it possible that you haven't noticed that I keep sending you back to the same place? I mean, do you think I do these things just to be perverse? Well, yes, I suppose I do. I'm an omnipotent being. I could send you anywhere. I'm sending you there for a reason. Try to get it right this time. I'm tired of replaying this moment. Tuning the phaser to a higher EM band frequency. You're right, they probably already adapted to the old ones. Nice shot. What did you think I was gonna do, cheat? Let's go see what this circuit can tell us. I'm just not getting anything useful from it. Maybe if we hooked it into the ship's computer and had it analyzed. I'd like to know more about it first. Can't you interface your tricorder with it? Maybe, but I don't think I'd get any more information. Sprint, what do you think? Sprint, what do you think? Idiot. Who ordered battle stations? No one, sir. It's being initiated through the security program. The implant. The ship's data core is being uploaded to the Borg cube. Emergency transporter information. 
Shuttlecraft specifications. Stop that comm signal now, Lieutenant. Sir, I can't. The Borg implant must have its own subspace circuit. Shields are dropping. The Borg cube is firing. Thing is amazing. It has information about places, systems, even people. Look, look at that. Did you know that Counselor Baraka was a champion horse jumper? The tricorder's having trouble gaining access to the data. The circuit is designed with a pretty standard neural interface, though, like some of our medical implants. No, it just can't seem to. Well, I guess that's all we're going to learn from this. It's too bad. I bet there was some really important stuff on that Borg circuit. Maybe you should try something else. It's too late to try something else, Quint. The circuit's already fried. It's not too late if I say it's not too late. This one's free. Don't do it. Good guess, Ensign. Logical, intuitive. Decisive, but eh, wrong. Try again. No, I'm just not getting anything useful from it. Maybe if we hooked it into the ship's computer and had it analyzed. I'd like to know more about it first. Can't you interface your tricorder with it? Maybe, but I don't think I'd get any more information. Sprint, what do you think? I'm just not getting anything useful from it. Maybe if we hooked it into the ship's computer and had it analyzed. I'd like to know more about it first. Can't you interface your tricorder with it? Maybe, but I don't think I'd get any more information. Sprint, what do you think? What? My implant. I don't understand. In Sotargus's implant works along the same basic principles as the Borg circuit. She might be able to interface with it. No. You can't possibly be suggesting that Ensign Targus be allowed to interface with the implant. Nobody is suggesting anything of the kind. In truth, Captain, interfacing with the implant would be somewhat like auto-neural stimulation, an experience which Ensign Targus is quite familiar with. Exactly the point, Captain. Ensign Targus's neural implant is designed to counteract the side effects of that kind of neural stimulation experience. This kind of neural input is... Does is... anybody mind if I join in on this discussion? You're all talking about me as if I weren't here. It's in the long-term effects of your recovery, won't... Counselor, the concept of long-term effects loses its meaning when the entire Federation is in danger of obliteration. I'm ready. I think it would be best if the Ensign were immobilized during this. Do it. You could have waited till I sat down. I could have, but I didn't. No, 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 no. I want Sprint to do it. Whatever you have to go through, Targus, will be there for you. Counselor, I've already been through hell and back. I don't think this could be any worse. <laughs> She's in agony. You've never had to deal with pain, have you, Sprint? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, assimilation! Technology! Channels, subspace channels. The Borg implant taking over systems. Communication with collective. Jam systems. The Borg implant is getting its orders from the Borg collective. How do we jam the signals, Targus? Uh, shields. Modulate mutations. 0. 0.6525 normal. Now! Do it! Modulating shield mutation. The Borg cube is scanning us. What's happening with those shields, Mr. Furlong? Almost there, sir. They're firing! Mr. Furlong! Got it. They've stopped firing. The shield settings must be in sync with the Borg scanners. They sense us as being part of the collective. Ah! Ah! Alone! We are... 
Resistance is... You will be assimilated! The shield has cut off the Borg circuit from the Borg Collective. We've got a disconnector. Kill me! One more cc of Neuroblock and she'll be a vegetable for life. Do you want to be responsible for turning Ensign Targus into a Bodhi and Zucchini? Exactly what I wanted. Try doing something. She's dead. You're not supposed to be killing people, Cadet. You're supposed to be saving them. It is a concept your limited cognitive abilities can deal with, isn't it? Or am I wasting my time with you? Don't disappoint me again. Evoke responses are negative. She's as good as dead. No, she'd be better off if she were dead. Maybe you should have just shot her. You want to go back and you want to try that? Are you sure you want to do this? You saw what it did to Furlong. But then again, you are Bajani. I'll give you a chance to think about it. You're not dead, you're unconscious. In a Bajani pain trance. Interesting phenomena. I'm not sure what its evolutionary benefit was for the Bajani, something like a Terran possum, perhaps. Oh, look, you're regaining consciousness. Welcome back, Lieutenant. I guess this means I owe you my life twice, huh, Sprint? Now, I've never seen anyone go into a Bajani pain trance before. Interesting, you were clearly unconscious. Yet your body managed to finish the task at hand. I suppose it's part of the survival mechanism. Quick thinking. Next time, they'll warn me. While you were out, we did a diagnostic on the computer systems. The Borg implant is continuing to rewrite code. I'm sending an away team over to the Borg cube to see if they can find anything that'll help us disable the implant. Targus and I are going, but we could use a third. I don't know if we'll get out of there alive. I won't order you to go, Lieutenant. Oh, we few. We happy few. We band of Borg. They're turning this into some heroic escapade, trying to make it impossible to turn down. I'll go. We don't need you, Quint. We need someone we can trust. Just like old times, somebody. Huh, Three against the world. Coming? OK. Use your phaser. Each of ours has been retuned to a different frequency. Here, take this. I don't think we need an emergency med kit. If things get that bad, we're probably dead. There are many ways to die. Some of them are more painful than others. There's an emergency hypospray programmable for neuro painkillers just in case. You do know how to use it, don't you? We're coming alongside the Borg cube. Good luck. Energize. What 
you looking at, cadet? Standard interface. Odd. Why? While most of the work we've seen have direct interface abilities, why would they need something like this? And remember, they've already totally assimilated one Starfleet officer. Maybe this is his influence. Or maybe it's a trick. Somehow, I don't think the Borg understand the concept of trick. Okay, security. You think you can bypass the Borg lockouts and get us the information we need? They've adapted. That's the trouble with Borg. You kill one, there's always another one to take its place. You're never gonna figure out how to interface until you learn how to think like a Borg. Kill them before they kill you. Strike first! What do we do? Let's see what they do first. What are you looking at, cadet? Standard interface. Odd. Why? While most of the Borg we've seen have direct interface abilities, why would they need something like this? Yeah, remember, they've already totally assimilated one Starfleet officer. Maybe this is his influence. Or maybe it's a trick. Somehow, I don't think the Borg understand the concept of trick. Okay, security. You think you can bypass the Borg lockouts and get us the information we need? Don't go into one of your pain trances yet. What is that? It's something to counteract the Bajoni adrenaline. I want to keep one of his pain trances. It's working. Sprint, I'm sorry about that. You're going to have to deal with the pain just like the rest of us humanoids. For more than come. Let's got spread. Later, that's in order. Sprint. Hold on, buddy. I need you conscious. Don't go into one of your paint trances yet. What is that? Something to counteract the Johnny adrenaline. It's working. Sprint, I'm sorry about that. But you're gonna have to deal with the pain just like the rest of us humanoids. Come on, we have to get out of this corridor before more of them come. But it's got Sprint! Later, that's an order.
Designate Beta Alpha 73. Assimilate knowledge. Interface. Assimilate. Don't you pay attention, or are you beginning to enjoy Borgification? Remember this? Write it down if you can't. terminated with assimilation implant that must be a Borg time sequence. No, I think it's a code for accessing the implant. If we can find a way to interface safely with the implant, we can feed it the sequence in an order to shut down. If it's anything like this terminal, it's going to look for a Borg signature. Damn, if we still had that dead Borg circuit, we could use that to convince the implant we were Borg. That's not a bad idea. But the circuit was fried. So we'll get another one. There's no shortage of Borg around here. Get that circuit. directly to computer core control room. You'll be back. No, righteous. The Borg implant's been overriding our systems since you left, but we still don't know what it's doing. It's rewriting all of our systems to make them compatible with Borg systems. I thought our shield setting cut its subspace channel off from the Collective. It did, but it's following a pre-programmed set of instructions. We have to give it an abort order, but first we've got to convince it that we're Borg. How do we do that? We use this circuit as a buffer in the interface. It has an individual Borg designation. I remember from my experience with it, everything is filtered through that designation. Baraka to Captain Anderpaw. What is it, Counselor? Captain, the Borg cube has just started a series of random scans. They're looking for us. I don't know how long we have before they find out that we're not actually part of their cube. Uh, the interface looks pretty simple. Sprint. Attach the circuit to the Borg implant. No. Let me. Maybe I should do it.
Mr. Sprint, if you don't wish to attach the circuit, then give it to Lieutenant Furlong or Ensign Targus. You're wasting valuable time. Ah, you hit the circuit. I can't get it out. The phaser shot must have fused it to the interface. He should have aimed at his head anywhere but the circuit. There's no point blaming Sprint. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Furlong to right. I believe this is what your dead comrades sacrificed their lives for. Ah! Too easy. Aim better next time. No, 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 Sprint's right. We need a living Borg. Changing protocols. Try giving it a command. Unable to comply. Updating systems information. It's trying to catch up on what it missed. Unable to comply. Borg designee Alpha Set Alpha of Four is no longer a functioning unit. Disengage that circuit now! <laughs> information assimilated. Retuning shields. Shield mutation is being altered. The implant has re-established communication with the Borg Collective. Bridge! Evasive maneuvers now! The shields are dropping! Ah! The only good Borg! We needed a live one. your fault, but you don't have to. We can help. You should have known. You were there with me. You should have known. <laughs> Captain, the shields are dropping. What's going on down there? Help, take evasive action. It's taken control of help. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You were right. We should have known. Attach the circuit to the Borg implant. No, let me. Maybe I should do it. There's gotta be something we can use on the Borg that'll stun them without killing them. Fast enough? Do you really think that's gonna work on me? You'll be back. 
Maybe more than once. What were you waiting for? Portable, programmable, valuable. I'm sure you brought it for a reason. You're a Bajani, not a Borg. None of these settings are going to do you any good until you learn a little something about your own species. There's got to be something we can use on the Borg that'll stun them without killing them. Check the tricorder. I have no biological components. You should have waited for one of the others. Hold up, buddy. We need you conscious. Don't go to one of your pain transitions. No! Yeah! Johnny Pain Trance. Your friend Furlong wasn't able to stop it. The Borg don't seem to notice, though. They're assimilating you at this very moment. At least this time, you won't feel it. Oh, it looks like you're waking up. Do you think you're fast enough? Do you really think that's going to work on me? Interesting. Borg, yet not Borg. Do you feel it? It's different this time, isn't it? Destiny Vega, Alpha 7 3, alert, destroy. Unassimilated life form, destroy, alert, destroy, destroy. Destiny Vega, Alpha 7 3, alert, destroy. Destroy! What do you think you're doing here? Stopping to enjoy the scenery? This is an important moment. Learn something. Designate Beta, Alpha 73, alert. Destroy, unassimilated life form. Destroy, alert. Destroy, destroy. You just killed your father? Why did you do that? I told you it was different this time. You have free will. You are really pushing the boundaries of my patience, cadet. Deputy Beta, Alpha 7 3, back in. Destroy, destroy. Frank, it's still you. Look out! Now that was the right action. Proving to yourself that you didn't have to listen to that nasty old Borg collective. True, you are dead. But now you know something you didn't know before, right? Well then, it was worth the trouble. Sprint! We gotta move out. Let's sprint! Too late for sprint, come on!
Sector 6G. Two life forms. Assimilation aboard. To destroy. slave to the collective. You could go back to the righteous and save them. If only. He's alive. I'll wait to the righteous. <gasps> Furlong! Sprint! I've got to get Furlong out of here. Hold them off. I'll be back. Didn't anyone ever teach you to watch your back? and save them, if only. Right setting, wrong place. Sprint, what are you doing? Wasting time. This is not set for a Bajani. Uh, I think I need to renew myself in some alternate reality. Come on, everybody, let's go. Such an amateur. Wasting time. This is not set for a Bajani. Ugh. You're a Bajani, not a Borg. None of these settings are going to do you any good until you learn a little something about your own species. Sprint, what have you done? This hypospray is set to stun a Borg. I don't know what it'll do to Bajani. I do. It'll kill you. You're a Bajani, not a Borg. None of these settings are going to do you any good until you learn a little something about your own species. Sprint, what have you done? He sent himself into a Bajani pain trance. Ah! 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 Oh, smart move. Sending yourself into a Bajani trance before you get Borgified. I only hope you're in time to stop them before they Borgify your friends. Wait! Wait, I think it's him. It's still Sprint. All 
right. We'd better get out of here before it's crawling with Borg. Oh, wait, Team Taritis. Three to beam directly to computer core. Now. Wait, Captain. no! No, it's all right. The Borg implants programming is shutting down, Captain. We have complete control again, sir. Captain, I have a message from Admiral Hansen. We are engaging the Borg. The Righteous is ordered to remain outside the battle until all first and second line defenses are exhausted. At your discretion, that was all, sir. And so it begins. You mean there's nothing we can do? Not until we're called into action by either the Admiral or the Borg. They also serve who sit and wait, Lieutenant. Let's get a battle ready. Ugh, I just hate sitting here doing nothing. You're worried that the battle will be won without you, Targus? Worried that the battle will be lost without us. You overestimate your importance to the situation, Ensign. The battle is already lost. Keep your cynicism to yourself, Quint. I'm just telling the truth. I'm afraid he may be right. Things aren't going very well. Oh, not you too, Lieutenant. It's important to have a positive outlook, even in the bleakest of situations. It doesn't get much bleaker than this. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about Kalen. Kalen? My son. What were you thinking? <laughs> I think by now all my friends are tired of hearing me brag about Kalen. I'm sure they don't want to hear any more. Did you hear that sprint? You don't want to hear Furlong talking about his whiny brat now, do you? I don't know what you're staring at, but I don't like it. Just be careful where you point. for working so hard to make people dislike you. And why would I do that? Because you're trying to prove that they actually like you. Oh, spare me, Counselor. You don't have the tools to analyze me. Oh! oh. Come on, Quint. You'll be OK. Just catch your breath. If you just didn't try so hard to make everyone dislike you. Spare me the psychology, Counselor. You don't have the tools to analyze me. Your problem is very straightforward, Doctor. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Go ahead. I guess I was just wondering what was going to happen to him. He's only eight. No, wait. He's nine. Growing up without his dad, that's going to be rough. He'll be all right. How do you know? I know, and so do you. I suppose I do. His mother's a strong woman. She'll see to that. It's just... Yes. I won't get to see him grow up. I'll never get to know him. Uh, as a man, I mean... Only me. Uh, a poet. A painter. An historian. A Starfleet officer. <laughs> There's so much we're both gonna miss. And so much you would be able to tell him. Isn't that right, Cadet? Why do you keep doing that? What are you trying to prove? He's trying to prove that people actually like him. Oh, spare me the psychology, Counselor. You don't have the tools to analyze me. Your problem is very straightforward, Doctor. You desperately want to be liked. If I wanted to be liked, all I'd have to do is snap my fingers, and I'd be liked. I'm an omnipotent being masquerading as Dr. Quint. Whatever I want to happen, happens. Interesting fantasy. <laughs> All right, let's play that through. Then why don't you? Why don't I what? Make everyone like you. Because I don't want to. No, because you want them to like you of their own free will. And phenomenologically speaking, you can't force them to do something of their own free will. Sophistry, Baraka. Truth, Quint. Let me give you some free advice. 
If you want to be liked, try making yourself likable. Read it, Ensign. Orders from Admiral Hansen deploying third wave attack when ready. Battle stations. Take us in, Targus. Maximum power to the shields. Spread fire phases. Keep the frequency changing and get those torpedoes online. Sir. Keep those faces firing, and where are my photon torpedoes? Armed and ready, sir. Let's see if we can shake them up a little, Ensign. Yes, sir. Initiating Delta attack. I'm reading a small weakness in the shields. Shields are holding five, but power is down 10%. Weapons having no effect. Damn. They've adjusted their shields already. Here we are again, back at the beginning. But this time, you are security, instead of that little mouse of an Ensign. The Tolstoy just took a major hit. Are you going to be able to save him or not? I think she's pulling away. The Kyushu's coming on strong. Saratoga and Melbourne have lost power. Tolstoy, Kyushu, Saratoga, Melbourne, all ships that were lost at Wolf 359. Will they be adding righteous to the list? Captain! Intruder alert. Security, isolate the ops console. At 0800 hours during the Battle of Wolf 359, the USS Righteous was hit by a Borg weapons discharge and vaporized. It's in your hands. Security! so far and then to lose all this work and the outcome is the same the righteous is vaporized everyone is dead and why that Borg wasn't all that smart you know it would have been a simple matter to overpower him you were so close I know I'm going to hate myself in the morning but I'm gonna give you another chance it's not that I care I just want to see how it turns out Shield mutation is modulating. The board cube is pulling away, sir. It's ignoring us completely as if we weren't here. It thinks we've been vaporized. For a minute there, I thought we would be. Where is it headed, Ensign? Direct course for Sector 001, sir. I wonder what chance the Starfleet forces have of stopping the Borg at Earth. Actually, they will succeed. The Enterprise, utilizing the emergency transporters on the shuttlecraft, will recapture their Borgified Picard and stop the Borg incursion just in the nick of time. And how do you know that, Quint? I told you already. I'm an omnipotent being. Who are you? And what happened to Dr. Quint and Lieutenant Sprint? And what have you done to my crew? I'm afraid the lieutenant died about four hours ago. Not my doing. He was supposed to die. Just as all of you, I'm afraid, are supposed to be vaporized here at Wolf 359. That's how it's written in the history books. History? Are you telling us you're from the future? He is. I am, well, as I said, I exist outside the confines of the space-time continuum. That is if I want to. My little friend here wanted a chance to come back and save this ship from destruction. And to my great surprise, he succeeded. So you were just pretending to be Sprint. Why? Who are you? Kayla. Please. I'm trying to figure this out. As I said, I didn't expect Cadet Kalen to succeed here. And now that he has, 
I'm in kind of a bind. I don't, uh... Of course. According to history, we've disappeared from Wolf 359 at exactly 0800 hours. If we stay here alive, it corrupts the timeline. Our future, but Kaelin's past. What are you going to do? Well, the easy thing would be to just obliterate you all, but then that wouldn't be fair now, would it? On the other hand, I do want to protect the timeline. Hmm. Are we dead? Uh. Oh, I don't think so. Where are we, Lieutenant? We are still at Wolf 359, sir. The real question is, when are we? According to the navigational charts, correcting for time, we have jumped ahead more than 10 years. It's clever. I don't understand. We disappeared from Wolf 359 exactly when history says we did. Timeline is unaffected. We're still alive. Thanks to you, Cadet. If you hadn't come back to get us, we'd be dust. Captain, what about Quint? Oops. I almost forgot. Where am I? What's going on? Wait. I don't think I want to know. Captain, I'm picking up the vessel 34 Mark 216, heading on a course for Earth. It's the Borg. What are your orders, sir? We're a Starfleet ship in Federation space. We may be 10 years behind the times, but I bet we know a thing or two more about the Borg than anyone else in this time. Lay in a pursuit course. I, uh... I think I'm going to enjoy getting to know you, Cadet Furlong. Course laid in, sir. Engage. 